Hey guys, Brian Tong here back on the show floor of CS 2012. Now, we like to give you a little behind the scenes sneak peek of an actual booth in action. So our good friends at Sony were here to help us out. Also, you got to dig this new mic flag. It's kind of sexy. Okay, so let's go into the booth. Right now, we're going to start here with Sony. You see always kind of a standard affair here at CS 2012. Boxes covered with blankets. Who knows what's in there, right? All right, now we're going to keep on walking through here, and Sony's always been really impressive. A variety of cameras, television sets, Blu-ray players. They pretty much have everything under the sun. So over here, they're showing off some of their Xperia phones, digital media players. Where they're, everything is still being set up as we speak. So we know this isn't the final product boat we're going to see, but again, everyone behind us is working. There's interviews happening all around. Okay, also, ooh, look, see, I can walk backwards and avoid things while I'm doing that. This is more of Sony kind of really showing off their music unlimited service and some of the devices, tablets that are integrated in it. Again, Sony's always really tried to pitch like this lifestyle of their devices being connected with each other. Um, so they continue to push that forward. And we're gonna walk this way and we're gonna have, head over more to the gaming. We know that gaming is a big deal with Sony. The PS Vita, it's out internationally, but it's not here in the United States. It'll be coming out sometime in about February of 2012. So what we have here is a huge array of the PS Vita. I think it's a hot product, but really the question is, in the mobile gaming space, are people willing to buy another $200, $300 device in addition to their phone and their laptop specifically for gaming? So far, the response over in Japan has been really lukewarm They're with sales, yet, so we'll see if that changes once they hit the U.S. shores. Now, we're going to keep on walking through here. Sony's also known for a lot of their gaming. So what we have here, if you're here at CES, you get a lot of like demos that you'll never be able to get anywhere else. This game is one of their new ones, Starhawk. You're going to be able to get that one. Play it for free here on the show floor. Also, Twisted Metal is another super hot title. This is where cars like destroy each other. You'll be able to check those out in the booth. I think that's honestly one of the highlights for me, other than the cool tech is just kind of playing some of the new games that are at least six months to a year away. Now, as we transition over here, right, look, we see the ladders being stacked up. We see the little forklifts. Everyone is still, this is the central hall, really more towards the end of the central hall. Everyone is still setting up, but this is my favorite section of the Sony booth. This is the future technology booth. So whenever you see the word future, you want to come in and show you what they've got. So over here on my right side, this is a demo. You won't be able to really see it at home, but this is the 3D glassless television set. Now over at Sony and other companies, we're seeing a lot of demos like this. The unique part of this demo specifically is most of them have been displaying them with cameras that track your eyes. There are no real cameras here in these demos. And one of the things that sticks out is when you walk side to side you can almost see the 3d image change on a plane there's like this just subtle move that tells you that you're looking at it from a different plane the viewing angle is pretty impressive so you know we're going to be seeing a lot more glassless 3d televisions down the line now we're going to head over here you'll see really quickly one more glassless 3d tv this is a 46 incher they're getting bigger and better um, but from here it looks it looks really impressive to me you got a little seafood a little crab going on over there and a lot of nemos so this is one of the things here at CES. You always get to see some of this firsthand. I, th I think that from seeing a lot of these 3D glassless demos already, the technology is getting more and more impressive, specifically when you talk about being able to move different angles on the TV set and being able to deal with that and you know still having a pretty nice quality image. Now over here, we're gonna we're gonna come over here this way, and we have more demos from Sony with their 3D glasses. Uh, we've seen this for a while, so there's nothing new and fresh here. This is really more of their future technology. But what we really wanted to show you, um, we'll kind of do it from a distance and we won't walk up to it too close, is over here on this side. Over here on this side, yeah, we have here Sony's demo of the Crystal LED TV display. All right, so if, if you look over here on my shoulder, this is kind of their new technology that they're showcasing. This is way ahead of the curve. The difference in what makes this TV set unique with the Crystal LED TV display is that there's a backlight, an LED for all colors, red, green, and blue, which really makes it super unique. There's a comparison. It's, it'll be, might be a little hard to tell which one looks more vibrant, clearer, and sharper. But on the left side, you'll see not only is the image able to be reproduced a lot quicker, the colors pop out of the screen and you know we everyone's talking about OLED TVs everyone's talking about 4k televisions but really this is the type of technology that hopefully will be more affordable and bring it forward so 
I, the crystal LED display, well worth looking at. Um, I was talking to one of the guys who works actually in Sony's 4K booth, and he says the theoretical resolution of this TV set is 6K, so 6,000 lines of resolution, which would make it a, even a more clear picture. Uh, just really impressive. So let's go over here this way real quick. Um, one of the things that Sony is also touting, because they are not only a consumer electronics company, but a media brand, they're showcasing off kind of the pipeline or the production line of a 4K camera we have over there. That's a Cine Alta F65 camera specifically geared for 4K content. And then across the board, obviously, Sony's going to pimp, you know, how we have the mixing, the receivers, the editing software, and the platform to really bring 4K forward. We saw how Sony pushed Blu-ray really hard, and the, the end result is that you're really going to need to see 4K reach the consumer in the home. So let's just come over here really quickly and check this guy out. This is their Sony home theater 4K projector. Now, if you want to know the retail price on this bad boy, could you take a guess? Somewhere around 25, but that's not 2,500. That's $25,000 for a 4K projector. The uh, internal code name for it, Insider Information Scoop, was called the Valkyrie. So you know it's some hot stuff. All right, let's just go over here really finally. One last peek over in Sony's booth. They have a lot of amazing stuff. But up here, this is the 4K home theater. Now, we can't go inside. I must reiterate that I, I like peeked through those curtains and I was shoved out, but they're showing a demo on a 200 inch screen of 4K content, um, not in 3D, it does support 3D, but it's 4K content, um, like a scene from some of their movies. This is, this is amazing stuff, so I would say definitely come out to the Sony 4K booth and just check out some of the cool toys they have. Um, we're just going to kind of take one more look just at the overall floor to give you a bigger sense of what's happening in the central hall. Over here behind me, Polaroid, we know that last year uh, Lady Gaga made her debut promoting the Polaroid brand. We're starting to see more celebrities come out here kind of associating with companies, whether they're brand names from the past or smaller names we may not recognize. Justin Bieber is here with uh, potentially a Bieber bot. Yeah, you'll find out more about that later. But again, and this is just the entire setup here at CES 2012. We're still one day away before we finish up with the final product on the floor, but just really give you an overall sense of how massive this undertaking is and just all the boxes, people, cables, wires, and lights, and television sets that it takes to put together CES. So there you have it, another kind of insider look on the CES floor. We'll be back with more live coverage, so just stick with us, and we'll show you continuing shots and more coverage from press conferences and everything else you can find out here on the show floor.